it is another edition of blooms for you thank you so much for clicking on this video i appreciate it there is a lot a lot to see we are going to do some flashbacking when it comes to orchid blooms but there's something else i want to show you first Thank you so much for being here. Let me just say that if your name didn't come up in this episode, trust me, it will one day. If I can see you, if you've commented, if your account is not private, trust me, your name is on the list and Bloom will eventually have your name attached to it. However, if you haven't been named here today, my gorgeous, gorgeous Dendrobium hibiki is in bloom. Yes, I have two pieces since I took the two plants that were in the one pot from Jump apart and they did spectacularly throughout the winter and they're blooming beautifully right now for you that are not mentioned here today. But I want to express that I am truly grateful that you not just clicked on the video, that you're watching the videos. All this really helps to support the channel and me. I appreciate you being so generous with the time that you spend supporting the channel. Thank you so, so much. Now, there's a group of supporters that I shout out every single time I do a Blooms For You video. At least this way, they get the recognition that they deserve because they do support the channel in such a way that I actually <laughs> get paid on the 21st of each month. Because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be making anything for two months in a row. So these are the Orchid Ninjas, very close to my heart. And the Orchid Ninjas have their own orchid in the collection. And it is Lady Chatterley. Meanwhile, correctly said, it is Phalaenopsis Cornicervi variety Chatterley Day. Yeah, long name. That's why I call her Lady Chatterley. And look at what she's grinning at us with. <laughs> look at all these blooms. Oh, it is just gorgeous. They're all back in full force. All those little smiley faces looking at me, at us, because of you. Thank you, Orchid Ninjas, so, so much for your support on my channel. It is not difficult to become an Orchid Ninja, and it means a lot to me. It really helps out. You have no idea. I don't want to go into personal specifics, but oh, if you want to sign up and support the channel as an Orchid Ninja, then please hit the join button, which will only appear if you have subscribed to the channel. And then, well, you get yourself a little bloom to start with at the end of your name, and then you move on through, and eventually you will get the official Orchid Ninja logo next to your name. And support me <laughs> at the same time so that the orchids can also be supported. So if you want to go ahead and do that, please consider yourself welcome to the Orchid Ninja crew. There is no samurai school here, none of that. For the time being, until I can't get things really going with my channel, for the time being, it is just a financial monthly support. When I started the memberships, I had big plans for the future and I, I can't live up to them at the moment, which is super frustrating. But your vote of confidence, know that it is appreciated. As with many things in my channel, the only way I can say anything is to say it with flowers and my Lady Chatterley blooms for you. Big grins right back at you <laughs> for being here and for your vote of confidence to date. Thank you so, so much. Now we're going to flash back and look at some orchids that have been in bloom and that I didn't get around to dedicating when they were actually in bloom. Look at the text on the top left hand corner. I will post the time frame of when these orchids were actually in bloom to avoid any confusion. Oh, an orchid. We are going back in time, but oh, <laughs> it's a beautiful flashback. This is my one and only Cymbidium. She's a hybrid between Ambrosia and Sugar Magnolia, and boy, do her blooms look like Magnolia tree blooms. I love magnolia trees anyway, so this was a wonderful little rescue orchid that I hadn't seen the blooms of, and when she did this for me for the first time, I called her beach balls until she was identified for me. And she always is such a nice little harbinger during the months of the winter when you're just gagging to have spring arrive, and then she comes with these charming blooms. So these blooms bloomed for Jobe Tongol, Wee Jobby, Tanya Lauritsen, Yoli Rom, Diana Perez, Fidel Palape del Pino, and Fausana Rizuan. 
This is my thank you to you for your support on my channel, my gorgeous Cymbidium hybrid with some delicate blush pinks and then the dark magenta in the lip. Not fragrant, but oh my, oh my. And then sometimes, unfortunately, it happens to rain during that season and then the raindrops, oh, they just are so magical. Even though the water droplets look pretty on the blooms, I know that during this time frame, it's also extremely dangerous and risque to leave water on the petals and sepals as it's still cold. Yeah, botrytis can be an issue, but we didn't have any of that this year, thankfully. Sometimes I did go around and shake the blooms off <laughs> just to help out with the evaporation a little bit. She is an OG in my collection. She's been with me since she was a teeny tiny little orchid. She was a rescue, so she's very close to my heart. It is an absolute pleasure for me to say thank you to you, Jobet Tongol, Wee Jobby, Tanya Lauritsen, Jolly Rom, Diana Perez, Fidel Palape del Pino, Fausana Ritzwan for your support on my channel. I hope that all of you are doing well in your part of the world. No, please, that you are appreciated. Mr. Romero, it is my absolute pleasure to dedicate my first time bloomer, Paphio Pedlum Delinatii, to you as a thank you for supporting me on my channel, for subscribing and for commenting. Know that I appreciate that just as much as I appreciate every orchid that turns out to be a first time bloomer in my collection. Paphio Pedlum Delinatii came through this year in 2023 and I cannot tell you how relieved I was that this orchid was on top of everything else, still alive, that I made it to get her from seedling to blooming, and then, of course, that she wasn't mislabeled, which can often happen in this wonderful hobby of ours. So, when she bloomed out and I saw this charming, beautifully symmetrical slipper orchid bloom that I have admired from a distance for so many years, when I saw that for the first time, I was enchanted. <laughs> I just love the colors and the shapes and all the blush and all the fairness about her. There's such a delicate and yet she stands proud with her spike all by herself, no need for support. And supposedly some Delinatii are fragrant. Mine is not. It is possible she may be one day because I have a Lindley Kupowitz that is fragrant, has a beautiful raspberry fragrance with a hint of sugar. And of course it is possible that the next time the Delinatii blooms that we will get a fragrance. But for now, I just have to hold my horses a little bit and just be grateful for all the reasons I've just mentioned that she has ended up blooming. So Mr. Romero, my Paphiopedlum Delinatii, she bloomed for you. Thank you ever so much for your support on my channel. You are truly appreciated and I hope that you're doing well. Ooey, ooey. <laughs> Ashley Paxton and David. Thank you to the two of you so much for your support on my channel. My Lelia Harpophila bloomed for the first time on two growths, so she is improving. She's getting stronger and better. And the second new growth was really hustling to catch up and eventually did bloom out at the same time as the first growth did. Right on time, as per usual. I am so happy to say that this orchid just grows and blooms like clockwork now. Love me that orange and I am getting completely carried away. Ashley Paxton and David, my Lelia Harper filler blooms for you to say thank you to the two of you for your support on my channel. You see, when I talk about orchids and their blooms, I go yup, 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 <laughs> and kind of lose the plot and the reason for why I am doing this series. I hope that you're doing well in your part of the world. I hope that you like star-shaped little blooms like a Lelia Harper filler, and I hope, of course, you like the color orange. It's always a little bit difficult to discern when buds form and the list then correlates the names. Sometimes I may have nailed it, sometimes I may not have. However, I am absolutely in love with this orchid and for me personally, have no hesitation whatsoever to dedicate my Lelia Harper filler to you to say thank you to you for your support on my channel. You are very much appreciated. Please know that if you see this video.
little bit of vanilla, sugar and spice and everything nice. That is what is the fragrance of my Leptotus Bicolor. And she bloomed for Jennifer Appel, Mateus Pedro Marquez dos Santos and JT. The three of you, I hope you'd like vanilla. Maybe a little bit of sugar on top. Maybe something like a vanilla milkshake kind of fragrance because ooh wee, this little orchid packs a punch. And oh my goodness, it is delicious. Not only does she look so cute, love her colors, love her really weird little petals and sepals. It's difficult to get them to grow upright and even they're a little bit all over the place but it all fits in together nicely when you look at the orchid in her pot in full bloom. So Jennifer Apple, Mateos Pedro Marquez, Dos Santos and JT, your names came up when this orchid started to bloom out and here she is blooming for you to say thank you to you as well for your support on my channel. This is my 2.0. My first one has left the patio. After many, many years of trials and tribulations, the orchid wasn't strong enough. However, I'm so pleased that I've got a 2.0. Even though I may not be able to cultivate her to perfection because of my climate, at least she blooms. You can see that some of the leaves are a little bit taller than the ones that I grew. Yep, that is because of my conditions. Still, as long as she's alive and does this year in, year out, I am not going to complain. Once again, Jennifer Apple, Mateos Pedro Marquez dos Santos, and JT, I appreciate you. Thank you so very much for your support on my channel. Kerry Midkiff, my area hyacinthoides, she bloomed for you. I only got one spike out of her this year because of my low light levels during the winter, but my goodness, what a spike that was. In the past, she would bloom five, six spikes, and the blooms don't last very long, but this one was different. It had more chunky of a spike. The blooms also presented themselves better. The blooms didn't last that much longer, but wow, the substance of the spike this year had me intrigued, and I'm wondering if we're going on to the next stage of the development of my area hyacinthoides because first of all oh Carrie thank you so so much for supporting my channel this is my lily of the valley orchid styly and <laughs> bloom she grows in a similar pattern she has a similar shape but she is let's say the giant version of a lily of the valley doesn't mean that she smells like one she doesn't have a fragrance but I am so happy that we got a spike out of her she has been repotted in 2023 and she's doing super well and for the first time I'm actually leaving her outdoors throughout the entire warmer months of the year low humidity or not meanwhile in June I had high humidity but she seems to be holding on to this very very well the beauty of only getting one spike carry midkiff is the fact that that spike is dedicated just to you <laughs> and I can just focus on you and say thank you to you for supporting my channel I so appreciate it let's see what happens in 2024 right now she's growing six new growths and I do wonder I've never had it happen before but I do wonder if she would bloom once those growths mature and have like a second flush of blooms I don't know like I said, it's the first time that she is outdoors during these warm months of the year. I just love the details of these blooms. The pixie sparkles, the fuzziness, everything is just so whimsical. And while I tried to grow Lily of the Valley here in southern Spain, they did not do very well. I had Lily of the Valley for one season and the next season they just started to peter out. So it didn't last very long. But my area hyacinthoides, fabulous. So Carrie Midkiff, thank you so very, very much for your support on my channel. You are so appreciated. Sometimes you have an orchid that you just know is underperforming. So after four years, my Dendrobium anosmum has not amounted to much. Yes, I am a greedy orchid grower. I admit that. It's not my claim to fame, but it is one of the things I have in this hobby. And anosmum, unfortunately, is for the time being not growing to its full potential. However... The fact that she still does bloom for me two blooms, that is massive. And I happen to have some fur babies I was made aware of from Julie's orchids. So I don't know if you respond to your names, Happy and Fatso. I am sorry to say Fatso. I'm sure that you're a lovely, lovely little creature. 
Cuddles to both of you, high paws and all that fun stuff to both of you. I mean, happy, wonderful name, Fatso. I wonder where you got that from. But let me just tell you something. I have been made aware that the two of you are watching my videos. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so, so much for doing that for me. I happen to have two fur babies as well. It just so happens they only hear me when I edit. <laughs> but to have the two of you watching my videos, well, I want to dedicate my dendrobium and osmum blooms to you. Makes sense, no? One for happy and one for fatso. The speciality about this orchid, whether she is a dud in my collection or not, if she gives me two blooms in the coming years, I'm going to be super happy because of her amazing fragrance. The fact I don't have these long, dangling, arching canes, that's just me and my ego having a little bit of a moan. But these two blooms, they are pungent and they are gorgeous. They smell like eaten mess, very sugary raspberry, and just two blooms fill my patio with that fabulous mouth-watering fragrance. So, speaking of mouth-watering, if I could, I would give the two of you little treats to say thank you every single day for watching my videos. I so appreciate that. And Orchid Ninja, Julie-san, thank you for letting me know that this is happening because it is the cutest thing ever. I have always said that all I need is people to watch my videos and eventually the AdSense etc will take care of the rest. But to have fur babies involved in supporting the channel, Orchid Ninja Julie Sun, I tell you it warmed my heart. Know that you too are appreciated. And back to Happy and Fatso. Mouth-watering raspberry scented Dendrobium anosmum. This is my thank you to you for doing what you're doing, for listening to me, maybe one day also supervising Orchid Ninja Julie Sun, your fur mama. <laughs> Either way, I so appreciate it. This is the sweetest thing ever. Thanks to the two of you so, so much. Therese Bobby, Elsa Bobby, Julie Bobby, Johnny James, Ajit Joseph, Rosemary Johnny, Ronnie J, Nandana, Avantika, Rajani Prem Kumar. This is Dendrobium Bensonie. And boy, has this orchid just impressed me over the years. She came as a mislabeled orchid. I would not have bought her if I had seen the picture on the internet. But sometimes orchids come into your life and there is a reason. The universe knows a lot more than we do. And this year's blooming, boah, spectacular. So, this orchid blooms for all of you as a massive thank you for your support on my channel. I cannot tell you how grateful I am that you are here. I call him Jose Joseph. <laughs> I don't know how you call him, but I know that Orchid Ninja Jose San recommended my channel to you. And without a second thought, here you are supporting me. I so appreciate it. And when words fail me, I let the blooms do the talking. Because my goodness, Dendrobium Bensogne, I am grateful to have this orchid. And this orchid now serves a purpose for having bloomed for all of you. She has a fragrance of vanilla sugar. It's like a vanilla sugar cookie. And she had approximately 21 blooms this year. And she bloomed for about two weeks to perfection. And then bit by bit, the bloom started to peter out. She was also mounted on cork this year in 2023. This orchid has not really been disturbed at all because it's just one mount on top of the other. I'm not fiddling with the roots, but oh my goodness, the roots have gone absolutely bonkers. This orchid hasn't broken a stride. She's got seven new growths, so we can expect something spectacular. If me, moi, here doesn't make a mistake, but we can expect something spectacular in 2024. Right now, of course, for this edition of Blooms for You, the focus is on what she did for Therese Bobby, Elsa Bobby, Julie Bobby, Johnny James, Ajit Joseph, Rosemary Johnny, Ronnie J, Nandana, Avantika, and Rajani Prem Kumar. What she did this year, she did for you to say thank you, to really be able to express my appreciation for your support here. It means a lot to me, all the way from Europe. <laughs> Please know that. I see your names and I appreciate you so, so much. 
I hope that you are doing well in your part of the world. And just let me add one thing. I have a little bit of envy when it comes to you interacting with Jose Joseph. I see him every day in my comments. I am ever so grateful for him. But being able to interact on a personal level with a man like that, face to face, that is something I truly envy. So I am blessed to have you here. We are all blessed to get to know each other via Orchid Ninja, Jose Joseph. Thank you to all of you, if I haven't expressed that enough. Thank you to all of you so much. My Dendrobium Bensonia, she bloomed for you. As much as I try not to get long-winded in these Blooms For You dedication videos, there's times when I just have to stop and just stay and be long-winded. Because to say thank you to people that support me is important to me. If you've made it to the end of the video, you know what? That means a lot to me as well because that is important when it comes to the watch time that YouTube requires in order for the channel to have any kind of traction. So everybody that stayed and watched to the end, Thank you so, so much. Please don't be disappointed if your name didn't come up. Trust me, it is on the list. If you're not sure, write in the comments and I will double check whether your name is on the list or not. I cannot identify you if you have a private account, but if you want an orchid to bloom for you at some point, then I need your name on the list. And if you want me to double check, leave me a comment, a little heart or something, a wave, something along those lines. I'm going to check and I'll tell you. Sometimes I see comments from some people that have already had a dedication and we're going back episodes a long time ago. And I know everybody's busy with their life and it is so nice for me to see those names. And then I go and I find the link and I put it into the comments just so that they know that they have been seen and that they are appreciated. So it's a whole little thing going on in the background with these Blooms For You videos, but I thoroughly enjoy them. So when I do get long-winded, huh, forgive me. <laughs> and I can already hear you say, she's still talking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you for watching. I'm going to love and leave you. And thank you for supporting the channel. I wish you a beautiful day. On that one condition, as always, though, that you please stay safe. Take care. Bye.